Uh, thanks again, everyone, for uh, being here today. Last week in September, it's uh, kind of crazy how quick it's going. Yeah. Uh, Jocko mentioned that since Craig isn't here today, if you guys all want to give you real keys to success for this weekend, uh, feel free to do so. It uh, doesn't look like UMass was able to come today, so we'll jump right in. Uh, gold helmet from Bentley. Uh, eight tackles and four takeaways by Nick Athey set the tone for Bentley in a 40-21 to 21 homecoming victory over number nine LIU Post. And looks to build on that this weekend at Pace. Real quick, thank you. Uh, just wanted to, to take a quick second and thank everybody. Um, this year, unfortunately, uh, due to our practice schedule, I'm not able to make it every week. Uh, Nick and I will be uh, running out to, to get on the field for 1 o'clock this morning. But we had a great win uh, this past weekend on homecoming at, at Bentley against number 9 LIU Post. Uh, really, uh, each and every year they are at, at the top of our conference. Coach Collins has been there since my days playing at, at uh, Bentley, and they, they've played the exact same way. Extremely tough, talented, um, and, and well coached. Uh, we were able to, to really get things going early in, in the football game and uh, got out to a halftime lead of uh, 26 to 7. Uh, as we knew they would post battle back in that football game, uh, with it eight minutes to go in the game, it was a 26 to 21 game. And uh, our kids found a way to answer the bell and come away with a 40 to 21 victory against, uh, you know, really one of the top teams in, in our conference. Uh, that effort was led uh, by Nick. Uh, he had some help offensively. Mac Lowry, our quarterback, threw for five touchdowns. Three to freshman Austin Ryan from uh, Williston North Northampton and Foxborough High. Two to Drew Mahoney from Suffield Academy. Um, but defensively was really um, where we stood out in this football game. Uh, it, was a, it was a team effort um, led by you know, our leader on the defense. As, as he said, Nick actually also forced a separate fumble, so he was in on, on five takeaways and our team had, had six. Um, Nick's stats in that game itself really speak for itself. Um, you know, to be able to, to be a part of five takeaways against an offense that's putting up close to 50 points a game is, is really special and, and led to our win. Uh, if, if they kept stats on, on discipline, preparation, leadership, and consistency, Nick's stats would be much higher than that. He's a, he's a phenomenal kid and uh, uh, really the leader of our football team as a junior. Uh, really pleased to be able to announce uh, Nick Athey as this week's Gold Helmet winner. I just want to thank the New England Football Writers Association. Um, I feel honored for this prestigious award. I want to thank the Gridiron Club of Greater Boston for the sponsorship. Coach Gavin, I want to thank you, the rest of the coaches staff, Coach Leonard, Coach Fanning, just for continuing to believe in me, continuing to believe in this team, and just raise the bar for what our potential is. We are by no means where we want to be, but just continuing to push us to be better. Um, I want to thank my team. I really see this award as more of a team award than an individual award. Um, a lot of times in football, it's 10 guys doing the job, and then that one guy's there to make the play that gets all the praise and gets all the support, but it's really a collective team <coughs> um, making those plays, and that's, that's what it was Saturday. It was a great win, a great team win. Um, we have another great challenge ahead of us this week, playing a good football team up in New York, uh, Pace. But to everyone in this room, thank you. I uh, feel honored and humbled, um, so thank you. Talk quick about uh, next week. As Nick said, we're, we're heading uh, out to, to New York to Pace University to play a two and two Pace team who has the number four uh, leading rusher in the country and the top rush defense in, in the conference. And, and uh, Coach Rondo is in year four, and you can start to see um, his aggressive attitude um, showing in their kids. Their defense is forcing a lot of turnovers, led by their middle linebacker there who's a really aggressive, great football player. Uh, we know we have our hands full going out there, as we always have out, out at Pace. So we're really looking forward to, to this opportunity to, to get one win, and, and uh, I know our kids will be ready for it. Thanks. <laughs>